Hi everyone, welcome back to Bukio TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the bell notification on. So anytime we upload new video onto YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you. Don't be a prayerless woman. Don't tell me I can't fast. I have ulcer. Use fasting to kill that ulcer. Now I'm going to be addressing um, Funke Felix at Digimo because um, I think I think sometimes she says things and people just shout and scream and everybody goes over. Nobody's ever really um, sat down to address the things that she says, and she thinks that it's 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 um, it's normal to just go on public and be saying things like that. Um, because she's not the only one that is listening. The whole world, these things are on online, and the whole world is listening to the things that she says. And most importantly, the women that she says she's an African a leading woman, the women that she's leading is what is concerning to me. And the things that she, she says is what is concerning to me, especially this recent one that she said fasting heals also. And I want to quickly mention whether Auntie Funke knows what ulcer is. Does she know that the pain in a woman's stomach can be anything apart from ulcer? Do you know, Auntie Funke Felix Adejimo, that any woman that has pains in the tummy, it can be anything apart from ulcer? It can be cancer. It can be gallstones. It can be ulcer. And that ulcer can be a dangerous one that can cause the woman her life. Do you realize that standing up in a pulpit and telling people that fasting can heal ulcer, you are sending them to their early grave? Do you understand the fact that people are looking up to you because they listen to you and they obey all you say because you are their, their God? Do you know that the women that are listening to you are going to kill themselves because of the words that you speak? If you are a child of God, which I don't know what you are, you stand up and you make those sort of comments without even blinking, without any conscience, fasting hills outside. I want you to fast and pray. I want you to fast. Every beginning of the year, you come out, you come out, you 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 rant, you fly, you bubble, you you shoot, you shoot your body, you shout on all every woman. Without any atom of conscience, nothing at all. Right. I want to start by telling you what an ulcer is. Maybe you didn't know. An ulcer is like a wound on the stomach wall. An ulcer is like a wound on the stomach wall. This is an ulcer here. It's like a wound on the stomach wall. An ulcer can be a wound on the on intestine wall. And this ulcer you see here can be very, very deep into the muscle of the stomach. And the ulcer, because it's exposed to acid, the acid that our stomach produces, the lining of the stomach is supposed to be protective. But when this ulcer appears, it's open, it's like an open wound. We cannot heal it without medication. Food also is a good uh, medication to, to help with this ulcer. Now, if a woman is suffering from this ulcer, she needs to go to check up. She needs to go and find out, why am I having pain in my stomach? She needs to go and find out, why is there pain in my stomach? Have I got an ulcer? What sort of ulcer have I got? But you sat out there, you stand out there, don't come and tell me you have ulcer. Don't come and tell me you have ulcer. You have to fast. Fast thing can heal your ulcer. Do you know how many women die every year in Nigeria? I'm going to tell you. I'll give you the numbers. Because I think that somebody needs to tell you the truth. Now, in Nigeria, 800 and 21 women out of 100,000 women die every year. 
821, that's almost 1,000 women out of 100,000 women, die every year. They die from childbirth, they die from bleeding, they die from all sorts of things. Children under five, 201 children out of 1,000, that is one in five children, die every year from Felix at Dejumo. You don't stand out there and be telling people, pushing people again to their early grave. How many people do you want to kill in your quest for money? How many women do you want to kill in your quest for money? Under five children, one in five are dying every year. Women, 200, 800, and almost 900 women are dying every year. It, it doesn't make any sense to you because all your children go abroad for medical treatment. All your children gave birth in America. All your children go there for, 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 for America. And you go there and you, they go to five-star hospitals. And you take all your treatment to five-star hospitals. So the, the women in Nigeria don't mean anything to you. You can talk anyhow to them. Fast and care also. Fast and care also. Because you think nobody can speak to you. Funke Felix Adejumo. You cannot continue like this. It's got to stop.